Lara Croft is one of the most recognizable female video game characters, but Hollywood and activists within the gaming industry love to take her, twist her around, and alter her for modern-day sensibilities. And now, despite the negative reviews and seemingly poor viewership, Tomb Raider The Legend of Lara Croft is getting a second season, so this did not go over well. With Tomb Raider fans, as you can see, even the critics didn't love it. They gave it a 73, which isn't terrible, but it's still not not great, though audiences gave it a measly 33% because when you have a character like Lara Croft, we just have very high expectations. She was a crybaby. She was kind of a softy. They, of course, changed around some of the characters within this. Um, it just did not really feel like a genuinely good Tomb Raider experience, but even though people did not like it, they've decided to go ahead and greenlight a second season. It says Crystal Dynamics announced that the Netflix animated series Tomb Raider The Legend of Lara Croft will receive a second season despite negative reviews and seemingly poor viewership. Now, Crystal Dynamics is a company that, yeah, over the years has been really focused on modernizing Lara Croft. We knew with the kind of uh, reboot trilogy that they did, it didn't really resonate with a lot of people, but they still decided to go ahead with that. They're doing another Tomb Raider game. We have no idea what that's going to entail. And when you look at Hollywood and Lara Croft, things have not been super positive because while people did like Angelina Jolie's portrayal, Alicia Vikander's was okay though. She still wasn't quite the Lara Croft of our dreams, and Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who is a raging feminist, is also going to be working on the Amazon series, and that's got a lot of red flags surrounding it, too. She said that, you know, in the creatives' rooms, they're talking about how they're going to write her and who they're going to cast, because a large-chested woman uh, wouldn't really be able to be a Tomb Raider because she has to squeeze into small spaces spaces like it's unrealistic which is fucking absurd and at least with an animated like this they could have gone for any type of design they could have of course made it a less realistic portrayal more in line with the video game something that people actually would have wanted and while I like Haley Atwell and thought she did a pretty good job with what she was given it still wasn't the Tomb Raider of our dreams so now in a blog post to the Tomb Raider website it announced we're thrilled to announce that season two is confirmed now this kind of reminds me of the Velma situation because with Velma season one did god awful for viewership for ratings Basically, everybody hated it, yet they still went ahead with the season two, I think, because they initially had one big season and they decided to split it into two so they could continue to try to milk viewership over a longer stretch of time. And that's what I think they actually did here, that they had either one big season or they had to fulfill contracts, so they split it in half or they just are making a season two because they wanted to fulfill those contracts. Like, I do not think that really a lot of thought went into this second season because it's not getting amazing viewership. It doesn't have great ratings. It's not like there's some positivity surrounding it. People really don't have a lot of hope going into a season two. The company shared a log line for the second season. When adventurer Lara Croft discovers a trail of stolen uh, African Orisha masks, she joins forces with her best friend Sam to retrieve the precious artifacts. And we know Crystal Dynamics has most certainly been moving away from tomb raiding because if you look at like the the tabletop games they're doing. It's more so that Lara is apologizing for her controversial past, right? She's trying to be more sensitive to the people in the cultures that she's, you know, meeting and she's not really raiding tombs anymore. She's respecting tombs. And it seems that this is kind of a soft launch into this new Lara direction. But of note, the announcement does not say that the second season was fully renewed, just that it was confirmed. It is quite possible that a second season was always planned and even part of the initial deal to begin with, which is what I personally believe. I think that was their idea from the get go. And of course, 
course. While I do not think that Lara Croft is in the best place right now and Tomb Raider in totality is in the best place right now, I'd love for them to turn it around, though I just don't really see that happening at this point in time. Netflix sucks. Crystal Dynamics sucks. We're seeing a kind of modern Tomb Raider series that a lot of people didn't resonate with. I don't expect them to go into season two and make things a hundred times better. I think it would have been better off if they completely scrapped it and they just left it as a single season, but that's not what they're doing. And despite negative reviews and poor viewership, it is getting a second season. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike like. I appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.